Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I'm doing your monthly reading for March 2021. I hope you're all doing well. I do want to take a second, as always, to remind you that this is a general reading, therefore it may not resonate with everyone. If you find it's not resonating with you, um, go ahead and check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate a little bit better. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll be happy to help you with that. Simply email me. The directions are in the box beneath this video. Um, keep in mind that tarot is energy and energy is fluid, so timelines can vary. So Capricorn, for your monthly reading, we're going to pull your general overall energy for the month. We'll go ahead and pull a spread for your finance, career, and um, money. And then we'll pull a spread for your love life for the month of March. So let's go ahead and get started. Can I have the energy of Capricorn, please, for March? Capricorn for March, general energies. Okay, so we have the Ten of Summer, Prince of Summer, Princess of Autumn, and the Hermit. Interesting. Can I have the energies for finance and money, career, for Capricorn, please, March. Queen of Winter, Seven of Summer, Three of Autumn, and Justice. And can I have the energy in love for Capricorn? Capricorn, March 2021, in love. Four of Autumn. Seven of Autumn. Four of Spring. And two of Summer. All right. So, at the bottom of the deck... Capricorn, we have the Five of Winter. This is the underlying energy for the month of March. And so what I um, want to bring to your attention is that there may be some conflict that you're experiencing in March. Um, now, this could be internal conflict for you. Um, it could be that you're realizing that what you thought you wanted really isn't what you want or that it's not the best choice for you. Um, or it could be that you're just realizing it's just not worth the effort, all right? Um, or it could be external conflict with someone else, but it feels more internal to me. It feels as if you're kind of re-examining things in the month of March and maybe walking away from things that you feel are like dishonest associations and just realizing that what you thought you wanted, it, it really isn't what's best for you. So, um and that's the underlying energy throughout the month. So kind of re-examining things. And it's causing you to have some internal conflict. All right. So your overall general energy in March, we have starting fresh, which is kind of nice. Uh, it says a wonderful new beginning, a blossoming in my life. It's almost um, as if you, Capricorn, have just said, you know what? The hell with it. I am now going to just start over. I I'm done with all the other stuff. Didn't like it. Wasn't working going to start fresh, all right? Um, so we have the Ten of Summer, and that is the why. The why of why you want to start fresh. That's a feeling of betrayal. Um, I'm sorry, that is not correct. That is a feeling of wanting to be emotionally fulfilled. I don't even know where that came from with the, with the, the betrayal. So maybe there was betrayal for you. Um, but I can tell you that there is a feeling here of wanting to feel emotionally fulfilled and that, you know, it's not just within your love life. It's with family. It's with friends. And, you know, even like with your children, if, for those of you that have children, um, wanting to be around people that you can trust, people that you feel, um, you know, good with. It's clarified with the star, so it tells me that you are doing a lot of healing and, you know, you just want to move forward. You want to move forward into, you know, feeling good, into feeling, um, and it seems like there's something here that you haven't been feeling you could trust. So you, 
you're moving away from things that you feel are dishonest or are untrustworthy or that you can't count on so that you can feel emotionally fulfilled, basically. Um, now, you have the Prince of Summer. So for some of you, um, you may be falling in love. And if you do, it's going to be very sudden, okay? Um, <laughs> for the rest of you, um, you're... So some of you are going to get swept off your feet. Um, but the rest of you, um, this is just a warning to stay grounded during a very emotional experience, okay? Um, we do have the Six of Cups here clarifying this card. So I do think that this may be somebody you know from your past. could even be someone you know from childhood for some of you. Others, you may have a soul contract with this person. And it could be um, someone from your soul tribe. But there will be a familiarity about this person nevertheless. All right. We also have the Princess of Autumn. So that is um, good news, especially about career um, or promotion. Or for those of you who are students, about scholarships. Um, so this has to do with, you know, plans that you may have made, well thought out plans that are really going to, um, you're going to get news about it. It's going to be happy news. And there, it's going to work out perfectly, okay? So it's clarified with a, the Page of Wands. And so, you know, you're going to receive news, and it's going to be happy news, most likely in your career and work area, okay? Um, but you end the month with the Hermit, okay? So I do think that you may be feeling uh, like you want to take a break by the end of the month um, in order to kind of look at your own spiritual growth, or to find answers. So you might kind of, you know, pull back by the end of the month. It is clarified by the four of coins in the reverse. So I see you kind of pulling back, maybe not even being in contact with some people um, in order to kind of let go of some things, some things that maybe were not serving you. So it just seems as if you're kind of letting go of a lot of things. There's gonna be some good news entering your life about work or school. And I also see for some of you that you're going to have someone enter your life. So we'll get on more into that in your love sector. Let's look at your money and finance. Um, it says planting seeds. Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. So, you know, there's something um, in your work and career that is planting seeds. Um, now, that could have to do with school. It could have to do with investing, um, but it looks to me like you're investing. You're investing in yourself. You're investing in um, your future, and that's really good. Um, we do have the Queen of Winter, so that tells me that you are very self-sufficient. You're very strong um, and very patient and strategic. So I do think that, you know, that being said, you, you may come across to some people as being a little distant. Oh, look at that. We have the King of Swords in the reverse. Some people are actually going to see you as being angry. So be careful with that because I don't feel like you are. I just think that you're going to be letting go of things, especially with regard to your money, your finances and work or school. I think you're going to be letting go of things that are not serving you, things or situations. Um, and you could be a little angry about some of them, but I, I think that, you know, now is the time that you want to focus on your career and you are planting those seeds. So just be careful, Capricorn, that you're not coming across as being angry. Um, even if you are, you want to kind of temper that and be strategic in the way that you, you go about doing this. Be very patient and strategic. Okay. Um, we have the seven of summer. And so that tells me that you're going to have options, which is good. Um, so don't procrastinate because your power here is going to come in making decisions. Keep in mind that some of these decisions that are going to be presented to you are not going to be honest. You have the Seven of Swords here. And some there's going to be some um, options that are presented to you that are not going to be honest. There's going to be some trickery involved here. So be very careful um, about what you decide to go into, all right? Um, because it could be very confusing. Make decisions, but really do your homework here because there's, there's going to be some deception involved, okay? Um, 
you have the three of autumn so i do think that ultimately you will turn out fine in this because with the three of autumn that is you know being compensated well having a strong foundation and also this is a very cooperative um energy as if uh, for some of you it'll be con contractual it's going to put an end to your worries so i what i'm seeing here is that you're going to you're really focused upon your work your money i think that you're being very clear and strategic about it but there's going to be some options that are offered to you that are not going to be fair or not going to be honest it's going to piss you off capricorn you're not going to be happy about it be careful how you present with that um i think you're going to follow your heart you're going to be pretty clear about um what it is that you want and I think that you're going to make a good decision because um, you, I, I feel like most Capricorns really try hard to do the best that they can. And I do feel like you're going to make a good decision. You're going to be compensated well, but the decisions that you make are going to lay a strong foundation for yourself financially. And for some of you, it's going to be something to do with a contract. Not everybody, but for some of you. And it's going to put an end to this worry that is going on because of this deception. And I will tell you also, you're going to have justice by the end of the month. Um, yeah, you're going to have justice. And again, I see you pulling back. So justice is going to come your way in this, in this difficulty. So be aware that somebody within the work or school somehow is not, the, the options presented are not going to all be fair and so be careful in your decision making i do think you will make the the correct decision be very strategic in it because i can see it's going to make you angry um but you will receive justice and i do think you're going to make the right decision for most of you for some of you it will regard a contract but you're going to get justice and and the justice is going to also bring about some healing for you but you know in by the end of the month, for sure, you're going to be pulling back. And there may even be some people within this situation that you no longer talk to. Okay? Um, you're going to get good news about this. And I think that, I think it's going to bring you justice. So let's look at your love life here, Capricorn. It says, igniting courage. I am strong, valiant, and courageous. I like that. All right, so you start out the month with the four of autumn. Okay, so I see you kind of holding on to someone or something, or maybe someone's holding on to you. It feels like your energy, though. Um, and I think that you might be, you know, trying to make a decision here. So you're being guided to find balance. There's something here about trying to find balance for sure, okay? Um, and I don't feel like... There is balance here. So you're holding on to something. You're being very patient about it, though. You're being very patient. So there's something or someone in love that you're holding on to. You're being extremely patient, and you're waiting. There's a waiting type of energy here. Um, yeah, because you can't let it go. You have the death card in reverse. There's a, there's a connection, a situation that it's... it's making you feel unbalanced but you can't let it go yeah you're still emotionally attached to it um you may not even be um physically in contact i, I i'm not sure but i can tell you that emotionally you are definitely still in connection all right so we have the four of spring well that's good um fours are all about stability by the way Oh, so you're manifesting it. You're manifesting a, you're manifesting a, a, um, either a, a, in, uh, what is it? I want to, how do I want to term that? So you're manifesting a connection here. It's somebody that you're still holding on to. And it's somebody from your past or it's someone that, like I said, is from a past life. You're manifesting this connection. And if you're still in, in involved with this person, you, there may have been some difficulties and you're manifesting an upgrade in the connection. If you're not 
currently with this person, you're manifesting the connection to come together. Yeah, you, you really want to be with this person. All right, so we have the two of summer, which is good energy. And that's what you're ending the month in. So let's see, why do we have the two of summer? Capricorn, your cards keep falling in the floor. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords. Now, we have the Queen of Swords over here as well. So, um, and it's clarifying the Two of Summer. So, Capricorn, you might be dealing with an air sign. If so, that would be a, let's see, a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius. But you don't have to be. It may just be someone with air in their sign, or it just could be somebody, um, you know, that you're dealing with. There, This person or you, one of you is going to be willing to hear the other person out, okay? So there's an air here of being fair, being open to listening, but there's also this feeling of, um, if it doesn't serve my purposes, I will cut you out. What I'm seeing here, though, is that you're manifesting this connection, Capricorn, um, and I think that there is a high chance here that, you know, someone is going to get swept off their feet. And if not, if that is not, you know, if you're manifesting this and you're still apart, but you're still emotionally connected to this person, you're being guided to have a, um, to be very grounded because it will be an emotional experience um, for you. So, but also to not give up because the relationship has the ability to be healed and to be courageous in that, you know. So don't give up on this is, is what you're being guided. You can also, um, there's also the message here that um, forgiveness um, is a resolution to a problem. Forgiveness is a resolution to a problem. Um, there's a possibility of making a serious commitment. So don't give up. Yeah. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, oh, look at here. We have the two of swords in the reverse telling me that a decision's already been made. So I, I feel like you've already made a decision here. Um, and I think that, I think that you're looking for those of you, there's two lines here in love. For those of you who are no longer in connection with this person, I think you're manifesting them back. Um, and I think that they will hear you out. And I do think that you've already made the decision you want this person in your life. You're, you're being guided to forgive and to be grounded. Um, for those of you who, you know, are still in connection with this person, you're manifesting a leveling up. And I, I do think that there is a possibility of that happening. And again, a decision has been made that you, that, that is what you want. You're, you're being guided to have courage, Capricorn. Um, yeah, so that's good. Be careful, um, in the month of March about these options that you're going to be provided at work, school, um, or with regard to your money. Okay. Because at least one of those options is going to be somehow deceitful in some way. It's going to piss you off. And I, I do think though that you're going to make a good decision and it's just going to get rid of all your worry and it's going to bring justice to the situation. So, you know, you'll get good news about that. And so I, I hope you feel comforted about that. Okay. So overall, it's a very good reading, Capricorn. Let's get some advice from the angels and see what they have to say before we round out your reading. Okay. Oh, look at that. It says entrepreneur because we were just talking about your career. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. So if you have some um, options to become self-employed or you know, move in the direction of, even if you're doing this on the side of starting a side business, you know, this is a really good card. It, it It's saying that it's going to allow you to follow your own divine guidance in your intuition and that you'll be receiving help from the angels. So I hope, you know, that helps whoever that is meant to reach. 
All right, Capricorn, I hope this has been helpful to you and provided you some clarity. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, if you would, hit that like button and share the video and drop me a comment because I do read all your comments. And until I see you in your weekly readings, namaste.